This method can help to answer key questions in the diagnosis of myeloid diseases, such as myelodysplasic syndromes or other hematological diseases that evolve with maturation abnormalities in myeloid cell lineages. The main advantage of this technique is that it reduces the subjectivity of uh, investigator in data analysis and interpretation. This method can provide insight into which are the most uh, discriminatory parameters for myelodysplasia and allows quantification of the differences from normal myeloid cell populations. Demonstrating the procedure will be Tiffany Picot, a postdoctoral fellow from our laboratory. Begin by mixing 600 microliters of the primary cell sample with 10 milliliters of washing buffer in a 15 milliliter conical tube for two centrifugations in 10 milliliters of fresh washing buffer per wash. After the second wash, resuspend the pellet in 400 microliters of fresh washing buffer and transfer 350 microliters of the cell suspension into a 5 milliliter polypropylene fax tube containing the entire panel of backbone antibodies. After thoroughly mixing the cells, pipette equal volumes of the cell antibody solution into three new polypropylene tubes and bring the final volume in each tube up to 200 microliters with fresh washing buffer as necessary. Next, add the appropriate volume of antibodies against the cell surface markers of interest with mixing.